So we might just get up here. Yeah, look there. Back in here. I need to change my jig head. Change the jig head, change the plastic, and then we're gonna get into a mate. So this little fish profile on quite a heavy jig head because there's a shit ton of um a shit ton of um current. That's not sitting right though, is it? I need to get this in the water. Little fish profile um, on a half ounce because we're seven and a half, eight meters of water here and there's a a shirt load of current so just be casting up into here as you can see those fish are out here just swimming through so that's kind of the plan Jan hopefully we get a nipple see out there yeah there's heaps of fish out there They're just whacking bait Look at them underneath me just harassing the bait. It's dark. Alright, so we got one of those situations where um, we got stuff on the lens for starters. We got one of those situations where there's fish here. They're just, um, they're not biting, they're moving around a lot. Can't really get on top of them. So it's the last of the run in, and I want to go and look at some flats and do some different stuff while the tide is high and then we'll come back here at low tide I'm thinking so we'll have opposite flow and we'll have different I think we'll have better points to target them um, this afternoon when it runs out so anyways that's the plan that's what we're looking at there that kind of stuff well, the boat's kind of moving and swaying but yeah, you can see all the fish out to the side there. Hopefully, you can see those. If not, I'll chuck a screenshot or something up. There's one! Yep! On that current line. Perfect. Perfect. Came back here and we got one on. Hammered it. <laughs> Hammered it. Oh, it's banging my line. Oh, it's a big queenie, is what it is. Oh, 20 pound. <laughs> big queenie. Oh my god. <laughs> Chase it down. <laughs> oh no. I'm like the king of queenfish, eh? <laughs> they do have pretty sharp teeth. I've probably hooked him hooked him well on the outside of the mouth, but Yes. Alright, there we go. I have a bit of a feeling I'm not gonna land him, eh? I feel like a shark's gonna come up or a lion's gonna give out. Oh, give me your tail, mate. Give me your tail. Give me your tail. Oh, he's just flicking his tail at me. Come on, mate. Got him. There he is. Cracking queen. That's where I got him. Look. Oh, square in the jaw. That's why we had no dramas with that. In terms of that, we had no dramas. King of Queens. At it again. As again, King of Queens. Very lucky on the 20 pound, so we'll get him back in because he's like super tired. That was like the quickest. I could get him undone. Yeah, he's good to go. He's good, he's gone. He had plenty of fight in him, eh? Woo! Woo! 20 pound. You can see like they got like those raspy, raspy teeth, so if they if you get them in the mouth, they'll just I'll just bust you off even up to like 80 pounds. So, all right, cool. I tell you what, like I've caught a lot of queenies, yeah, sure, but um, it never gets old. Seeing fish on your sounder and coming through and going, oh, sounding, they're sitting there doing this, blah, and then going up from them or down or doing whatever, putting a cast in and plucking a fish out of those fish that you just scanned. It's like, it's like the best thing ever because it's 
you go, oh, I wonder what they are, or, you know, whatever. You, you know, most of the time you know, but it's good to, that was the first hurdle with, with side scan for me was knowing what you're looking at. And it took a long time to go, oh, that's a barra, yep, cast at it, bang, got one. You know, that's a thread fin, bang, get it. Queen fish, you know, little, little trevally, even down to just like schools of brim and stuff. So, yeah, it's, it, it never gets old, never gets old. Scanning a fish, turning around, putting a cast in there and just <laughs> plucking one. So, yeah, anyways, we'll keep going here and uh, see what else we can get. There was, there was a fair few trevally mixed in too, so we'll keep plugging. Much easier to target these fish on the run out. So we're here this morning we saw plenty of fish but um just on the last of the run in but uh they were pretty hard to target they were moving around a lot they weren't really eating that was spread out so it's good to come back here and um and bang one like straight up so yeah pretty happy with it oh Got it. <laughs> Must have hit it and racked straight at me. Little GT. He's like, oh, he's just going nuts. Oh, <laughs> it's just everywhere. <laughs> he didn't even really get it. A couple of small ones just to sort of fill out the. Oh, GTs. You cheeky. Cheeky as, eh? Just followed it all over the boat then. See if I can get him to bite. Followed it all the way out. One of that jerking. There they are. Look, look at them all. Look at them all. Got it. <laughs> oh, there's about ten of them there. <laughs> oh, that's so fun. That's so visual. Just a full, full spaz sort of technique. <laughs> Just jerk it till they eat it. Oh, that's. Might have to put an explicit tag on this video saying stuff like that. When they eat visually like that, I'm sort of into it, eh? Anything visual, I'm into it. Brims, trevallies. Come here. Oh, he's chucked something up. He's chucked up his... Oh, there's the bait. See those little white bits of bait there? That's why that five inch is working so well. It's like exactly the same size. Settle, mate. Settle. Oh, he just snapped me off. Okay. Should have grabbed his tail. Oh, well. I would have thought I could have pulled a little GT like that in, but he's just thrashed properly and that's the end of it. There's one. Yep. Clunker. Clunker. Whacking the line. Big whacker. Big line whackers. He's just racing out to the side here. Oh, he's choked it. <laughs> there we go. But what's this little spine on his nose here? That's not standard, is it? Alright. Alright mate. Off you go. There's one. Whack it. That's clean. He's gone straight up the top. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what it is. It's coming at me. <laughs> Going nuts. Going nuts. Now, every time you call a fish, oh, this is a such and such, or this is a blah blah, it's always not, you know what I mean? Then I have to edit it out so I don't look like a dickhead. So I think this is probably a red bass. Oh, it's a golden! That's why it didn't jump. Yes! How good's that? Goldie! Well, I thought if it was a queenie, it should have jumped, hey, if it was a queenie. And there you go! He's golden there. Yeah, grunt it up, son. Grunt it up. Grunt it up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that just fell out. You see that? 
That's the thing with goldies, you see these big soft lips? So you will wear a hole, your hook will wear a hole in there, and then it'll just pop out, so. Yeah, cool. Bounce spot lock. There we go, little trevally. Little golden trevally, big lips, big Mick Jagger lips on it, so not bad on the 10 pound stuff with a 20 pound leader, so all right. Going back in. Oh, there he goes. There he goes, beautiful. Go sideways on me, man. Sort of half assed at the end, didn't he? A little bit of a half ass release there, but go on. All right, cool. Oh, that's a rock. Oh, is it a fucking turtle? Oh, no, it's a turtle. Lost him off. Oh, I was gonna say, I thought it was a rock. <laughs> I thought it was a rock, and then I'm like, oh yeah, that's a rock. I was just back up on it, and then it started moving, and I was like, oh no, <laughs> turtle. So, let's just punch a big long cast out there. I'll bring it back through. We're in the vicinity. Vicinity. We're right in the vicinity to get a bite. There's so many fish there, hey? A lot of fish there. Get them fired up. There's one. Smacked it! I can get all that smack on the drop. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, come on, mate. What are you doing? Feels alright. Feels alright. I'm getting some nibbles here at the moment. Bloody good. Sound like Dave Hughes, then. Bloody good. You see the rods going like dunk, 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 dunk. That's classic river valley. I'll bring it up and it's. A... <laughs> I'll bring it up and it's something else. It's a red bat. That's cool. They hit bloody hard. Just got to get them out of that current line, eh? They just. They're feeding on the edge of that current line and they just. They're whacking stuff like it's, there's no tomorrow. And uh, if they stay, if you let them run in that current line, you'll just lose them, eh? You'll get a big belly in your line. But yeah, you got to keep the pressure on with these goldens. Because they literally come straight out of those big... See the big blubber? Big blubber lips? That's where I got him right there. That's all blubber. There's no bone. So you can see that hole there. That's where the hook went in. There is a bit of blubber there. And see, look at the size of the hole in his lip. So that'll slip out. It'll slip out real easy. So, all right. Hey, you later, mate. Oh, there's so many here. Look at the sounder. Just drop your plastic. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. My unit's a bit salty, but yeah, look at this. Underneath the boat, pretty much straight down. I'm too late to the show here. They're, they're already swimming underneath. Oh, tip wrapped for starters. That'd be a big rod snappy. They're swimming under the boat here, and they'll like, they just won't eat it. There's just so many there, and they just won't eat. But if you can get them on the long cast, big erratic, big erratic retrieve up, like one, two, three big hops, and your plastic just goes like this, and then drops down, they just bang. There's one. Going to see that real aggressive. Oh, that was a goal for sure. Let's go on. Oh, you missed it. Yep. Oh, he got it the second go. Either that or he hit it and come at me. Probably one of his mates. Yes. <laughs> Valley, probably. Oh, yeah, gold. Here we go. Lots of goldies here. Little goldies here. There you go. Come here, mate. Banged it. Shake himself off. Just stick him in the net, Herbert. What are you doing? A bit too proud to use the net. Get you undone. 
Yeah, see those hooks just fall out, eh? If you let pressure off. So I was like, he's thrashing at the boat, he's probably gonna get off. Woo! Everyone's happy. Cool, big slimy. Big Trevally slimes. Here in numbers, still looking for that that extra big, that extra big golden, like that big, big. But hey, you'll be happy. Take what's on offer at the moment. Just keep banging them. Banging him. Come on, bang it. There he is. Yep. Or right there, too. Right on cue. That never happens. But yeah, there you go. Big reposition of the boat. Boom! Oh, he's going to that current there. Get him out of there. That's good, eh? When you can just see him sitting there. Well, they're not sitting. They're, they're on the move. They're very much on the move. You just got to keep repositioning, come down 10 metres, go up 10 metres. Go out a little bit, go in a little bit, and just sort of dial them in as we go. Getting a few rewards now, which is good. One of many, 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 many trevallies. Oh, he's only just in, so just bring him in. Grab the old stuff. Oh, yep, for this. See, I can just see that hook just hanging out. That's all right, quick release. Got to keep the pressure on those trevs all the way to the end, those goldens. They're very good, very good at um, slipping out of those hooks. So yeah, just putting another cast in on this current edge just to explain what's going on. You've got this big bottleneck here, you know, and then you've got all this pressure just pumping out of here between that island and this island so it's just pumping out here it's not not real deep here it's like in there it's three four and then sort of out here it's six seven and then so on and then there's a deep hole in there that goes down to like 18 or whatever so basically all the water passes it through big current shallow on this side sort of a deep hole in the middle there and they're just doing big circles and they'll patrol down then they'll come back up and so you'll see them you see them on like this side of the sounder and you'll get one cast in where they are and then they'll sort of be behind the boat then they'll pop up on this side of the sounder and you get sort of one cast at them where they're at so at the moment they're just sitting here well they're not sitting they're sort of just they're swimming around they're just patrolling so that's basically what we're doing there's a bunch of bait all along here little little bait little like happy moments um you know Little trevallies, you know, those, those um, big eye trevallies, they're only about that big. So, yeah, that's just, that's what we're doing. Just sitting on the shallow side and just hunting them. Where are they? Fourteen, was that 14 metres? Kind of. They're there, one, two, three, four, five. Finally got one to bite. There we go. There we go. Trev. Be sure a Trev. Oh, there's some big goldens. It's a little Trevally getting chased by a giant golden. <laughs> there's some big golden sitting here. They just chase this one all the way back. It's a golden or not? Looks like a golden. Yeah, it's a little golden. Not as big as that one, nowhere near as big as the one I saw before, but there you go, golden. Come on, mate. Little golden. There we go, little golden. Doesn't get much more gold than that. There's a golden there, look at that. Golden, golden, gone. Cool. A 
is on. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I just saw him on the side scan. Put it in there. Bang. There's so many of them there, hey? There's so many of them. Come on. Come on up. Oh. What happened there? Just busted me. Right here. That's unusual for a trevally to bust ya. Yeah. Oh man, that sucks. That's really sucky, man. That was a good one too. Why would it bust me? I don't know. That's a weird one. That's weird that it would bust me like that. That is very strange. It's clean too, like... It's like rasped up. Sort of rasps from there to there, like a centimetre of rasp and then... Yeah, cut me off, so 